Hey y'all, this is Molly Rose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're probably wondering, why are you sitting on the floor? Well, today we are unboxing a huge box that I got from MXL Microphones and we're going to be doing an unboxing and a demo and a review on drum mics. Now, I am so excited. I know I always say I'm so excited in all my videos, but I'm actually so excited today because if y'all if y'all watch my videos, I have been talking about how I have been wanting drum mics for a while now, and I finally have a full high quality set of them. So these are unique microphones. They're not, you know, your basic, I'm not gonna say the brands, those other brands. So I'm really excited to try something unique, um, something versatile, and this is going to be an in-depth video. So stick around uh, and we'll do a demo at the end and we're gonna go through every single mic that you will need for your drum set. Before we get into the specs about the microphones and unboxing my box, I just want to kind of talk a little bit about MXL, the company, especially because it might not be, you know, a household name yet. So I just kind of wanted to talk about the company because I always think it's important to know more about the company before you get a product. So MXL was founded in the 1990s with the goal of creating high quality advanced studio mics that are both accessible and simple to use. This mission continues to be a basis of the company today. MXL has showcased its proficiency in merging science and artistry to develop unique designs across various applications, particularly sound reproduction. MXL's Products are designed to provide both remarkable sound reproduction and an attractive aesthetic to an extensive global creative community. And all of these mics are made and they are tested in Torrance, California. I'm from California. And I thought this was really interesting. MXL is a division of Marshall Electronics. And I was like, what is Marshall Electronics? So I was researching it and they make like all of the cameras and pretty much all of the equipment for like TV shows and movies and broadcasting. And it's like really like extensive techie stuff. So I thought that was really cool that they um, are like a partnership of them. So that's a little bit about the company and I gotta show y'all this box they sent me. We got a lot to unpack in here. So we're just gonna start going down the list of drum mics and talking about them and let's get into it. So we are going to start with the kick drum microphone. So this is the kick out, I'll be using this for the kick out, the Revelation Mini FET, and this retails for $230 on Sweetwater. This is designed with the modern creator in mind. Hand-selected components were vital in ensuring the Mini FET would not be another generic condenser. It's tight end and rich mid-range makes this microphone a perfect solution for keeping the character and natural feel of a source. This mic is certain to deliver whether it's used on drums, guitars, or vocals. And in this box, you get the microphone, a shock mount, and a really nice aluminum carrying case. Okay, they really said quality when they made this. This thing literally comes in like a briefcase. I love that. I absolutely love that. I love when brands actually care about quality. Uh, and then you open it up and I'll put some better videos in here for y'all. And then you got the microphone in here and the shock mount. Wow, that is a nice feeling and looking microphone. Next, we got our overhead mics and these ones are green. So I'm very excited about that. So these are the V67G and these are one of their top sellers for this series and it is a condenser mic. It is a class A FET designed for full warm vocals, mid-range that rivals tube microphones, utility mic that can work in almost any application. And my friend at MXL told me that these are the best like overhead mic. So this is the ones that I choose. This is the microphone. I love how, these are so pretty. I've never seen, I mean, I've only opened up two of these and I've never seen microphones that look this damn pretty, especially stinking drum mics. They're all ugly and black. So I love this. It also comes with 
um, a carrying pouch and I believe it comes with, yeah, and it comes with um, the little adapter for it too. Now these mics, I got four of these ones because this is going to be our microphone for our snare and for our three toms. And I guess you can just get however many for how many toms you have, but I have three toms behind this drum set. This is the V67N small dynamic instrument mic. This is a robust pencil condenser microphone that provides just the right balance of presence and clarity for a wide frequency response, faithfully replicates instruments, ideal for stringed instruments, cymbals, and drums, percussion, interchangeable cardioid and omnial directional capsules, that is cool, flat response for recordings that are pure and natural. So let's take a look at this. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Look at this. This is the cutest thing of my life. It comes in a wooden box. I'm gonna cry. It comes in a wooden box. I literally am tearing up. I love that. That is so stinking cool. A++ for packaging. And look, we got another little green microphone. Green is actually my favorite color at the moment. I love that. Wow, I really do love this. Look at this quality. This is what it looks like. It has like blue velvet. And these retail on Sweetwater for about $100. I cannot wait to try these. And I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with, these, with this cute little box too. Sorry, I got sidetracked by the cute box. It also comes with a mic clip for it. Last but not least, for our last microphone, we have the 606, which you can use for snare bottom or for a hi-hat. And I'm probably going to be using mine for my hi-hat. And this is a small diaphragm condenser instrument mic. The 606 instrument microphone delivers the sound you're looking for when recording snare drums, hi-hats, cymbals, acoustic guitars, piano, stringed instruments. The 606 features a negative 20 dB switchable pad and low frequency roll off. It has excellent detail in the mid range and at the top end, low profile design that works um, for live performances too. Cool, so let's unbox this little one and kind of see what we go for. Oh, and this one I believe retails for about $60. Yeah, so that's awesome. Let's see. Oh, oh my God, this is like Christmas. Look at this cute little thing. It comes with a little metal box and inside, that is so cute. It comes with the microphone and the clip for it. I absolutely love that. And this one is a nice, really good feeling silver. MXO also sent me a couple bonus things. They sent me a broadcasting microphone for like, you know, YouTube podcasting talking, which I actually don't have a high end um, microphone for YouTube. So I'm very excited about this. And they also sent me a pair of high quality headphones. So let's get into that. So this is the BCD1 dynamic broadcast and podcast mic with high output and low noise, which is great because if you know anything about, um, like if you ever have tried to do podcasting and stuff like that, uh, there can be a noise issue a lot of the time. It has internal shock mounts and pop filters to isolate from vibrations. That is awesome. Sleek design that is visibly appealing on video for content creators and podcasting. I love that. And that was the first thing I noticed about this as I was like, oh, that's kind of a, that's a cool kind of design. I've never seen, oh my God, look at this. We got another briefcase. I love that. Oh, look, it even has like the little design on it. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Let's see, this is like a nice plastic box. And yeah, that is awesome. We got the microphone just like that. And this mic retails for $150. These are the HX9 headphones. And these are studio quality that provide a full range of detail and clarity. They are lightweight and foldable. And in the box, it comes with a little carrying bag and it comes with a 3.5 millimeter adapter. Look how cute these are. I think I might just wear these as like earmuffs or something. And these are $50 on 
Amazon. I found these on Amazon, not on Sweetwater, but they're $50 on Amazon. Hey y'all, we've been in the drum studio all day getting all of the mics set up and my new interface set up and all of the cables. And I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like, but after messing around with everything, I think my favorite part of these mics has to be the Tom mics. I love the pencil um, condenser mics. They sound freaking awesome. And the hi-hat mics, everything is just sounding really crisp and clean and easy to set up. And I feel like I haven't really done too much tweaking of stuff. And of course I'm still learning and I'm gonna learn better positionings and I'm gonna learn eventually how to mix drums, but that's gonna come at a later time. But I've really been having a lot of fun and I feel like it's been a pretty easy process. I mean, it's just been a little time consuming cause I have boxes everywhere, but um, yeah, I'll, let me show y'all what the drum set looks like right now. We got the hi-hat mic, which sounds freaking amazing. I want to try that mic out on some instruments soon and see what it sounds like because I was so impressed. These are the overhead mics. There's one of them. We got our Tom mic. I love the green. Let's see if we can get in here. Got our snare mic down in there. We got another overhead mic. Let's see. Let's go down here. We got our kick drum mic. And then over here, we have our beautiful Tom mics. These are like the cutest Tom mics I've ever seen in my whole life too. There's our other Tom mic. All right, there was the demo. And this is also my first time like really messing around with drum mics and I'm super new to the whole like mixing process and all that. I don't really know how to do amazing yet. So yeah, please don't judge me. If y'all have tips and tricks, please let me know down below and like the placements, let me know um, down below. But just from my first impression, I think one of the reasons that I hadn't invested in drum mics before is I'll be frank, they're all ugly and they all look the same and none of them were very appealing to me. Like they're all, I mean, drum, good drum mics are gonna cost you $1,000, $1,500 for kind of like that mid range of kind of like what I was willing to spend. And all these drum mics together, I believe I added up, it was about $900 depending on how many uh, toms you have. And then you just add a hundred for every tom. So this is kind of in that like, kind of intermediate range before you start spending like huge, huge money on drum mics. But I love, I mean, you'll feel the quality in these when you guys get some of these mics is they are just, I mean, they're, to me, they're just stunning. I love the way they look, the quality, the cases that they come in. And the thing that I really like about these is the versatility is you can use these microphones for recording guitars and recording strings and recording vocals. Like I can use the bass drum mic for recording vocals, which is super cool and I would love to do that one day record you know other instruments in my studio and I 
don't think you can really do that with other drum mics. I mean, I'm not the drum mic expert over here, but it doesn't really seem like that's that the ver versatility is with other mics. So, and I love that. I love everything that the brand stands for. I love that they test all their microphones before they get sent out and it's not just made and it's not made by some huge company. You know, I love that. Um, and you can really see in the quality of that. So I would really encourage you guys to go check out MXL. I'll put a link down below um, on Sweetwater to all of the microphones and I'll, I'll be making more content with the drum mics and you guys can kind of see my journey. I, I also got a new interface for these drum mics. So it's going to be a journey and I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I can be a part of the MXL family now and we can do this all together. So if y'all get some MXL mics, send me a picture or video on Instagram at Molly Rose Drums. TikTok is Country Drummer Girl. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, I'm going on tour this year. So I'll put the dates down below. Hopefully I get to meet some of y'all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.